The state government has all but made a mockery of a parliamentary inquiry into plans to privatise the state's power assets, introducing the legislation before the committee even hands down its findings. The surprise move has angered critical crossbench MP Fred Nile, who could hold a key to the sell-off. Here's Matt Doran. Happy, happy days. <laughs> happy days indeed for a soon-to-be cashed-up government. And here on the site of the new North West Rail Tunnel, evidence of how the money from the lease of our poles and wires will be spent. As the machines pave the way for the new showground station, pivotal to the $8.4 billion North West Rail Link, the Treasurer was breaking ground of her own, finally moving the bill that has vexed politicians for decades. A bill for an act to provide for the transfer of certain electricity network assets of the state. We can consider amendments if, if, if they are required, but I've made a decision uh, that we have waited long enough. We've waited over 20 years for this. Crossbench MP Fred Nile wonders why then the Premier couldn't wait a few more days when the parliamentary inquiry he demanded is due to hand down its findings. I am concerned I would rather the bill be delayed until the report was tabled. If the government doesn't play ball with the required amendments, you're confident that this won't go ahead? Well, it won't go ahead. I won't vote for it. The opposition naturally unimpressed. The Premier is showing contempt for the processes of the parliament. Skeptics say the timing of today's bill was strategic, giving committee members less than a week to digest the proposed legislation. The Premier has taken calculated attempts to withhold important information from the public domain and now provide it at a time when the ability to scrutinise it properly is very, very limited. A lease value of at least $13 billion may help ease the angst. Matt Doran, 10 Eyewitness News.